32 days. That's all that separates us. A little more than a month from the start to the NFL season. Here are the highest win total numbers in the NFC. This is according to our friends at ESPN Bet. The defending NFC champion 49ers lead the way 11 and a half with Philly, Dallas, Atlanta and Green Bay right behind them. Here now Tyler Folgerman and Joe Fortenbaugh with their best under bets from this group. Thank you very much. You know, all week on ESPN Bet Live, Joe and I were handing out our favorite win totals around the National Football League. Today for you on SportsCenter, we're going to share our absolute favorite under bets. This is not going to make me very popular in the Bay Area, but I worked mm. there for six years and I wasn't very popular then either. <laughs> it's going to be the Niners under 11 and a half wins. One of the healthiest teams in the NFL last season. Good luck replicating that. Health likely to regress, just like teams who are extremely unlucky when it comes to health get a lot healthier the following season. On top of that, eight, count of eight opponents this season they will face that will have a rest advantage going into their matchup. Yet another new defensive coordinator, so they're going to have to get that sorted out. Contract holdouts currently with wide receiver Brandon Ayuk and offensive lineman Trent Williams. A lot of question marks here for this team this season. I know everyone's high on them. I'm not. I see them going under 11 and a half wins. Yeah, I'm going to go to a big-name franchise, and I don't care if I'm making enemies in Dallas. I know Stephen A. Smith is going to love me saying this. The Cowboys under 9.5. Now, when this opened at ESPN Bet Joe, it was 10.5. So the market has already moved on disappointment for Dallas. I look at what they've lost. And what have they replaced it with? Nothing. All in Jerry Jones. What has he done for this roster besides twiddle his thumbs trying to extend his most important players? He's had some good press conferences. <laughs> that, that gets dubs in the win column, right? The schedule, <laughs> not daunting. They're in the NFC East. But again, I think the Giants got better, the Commanders got better, and Philly got better. And I just don't see a 10-win season for this Dallas team and wouldn't. Mike Greenberg and Stephen A. Smith love that for their yeah. morning shows. I would like that as well. Back to Sports Center. That's a sure bet that Tim Hasselbeck is back with us. And Tim, the betters, the betors are fading both the Niners and the Cowboys. Which do you believe is mm -hmm. more likely to miss the postseason? I actually think it's the Dallas Cowboys, Randy. And, and I think both teams are similar, right? It's probably why we're grouping them together. This feels like there's so much distraction with star players on both football teams, guys that are looking for new contracts. And that certainly is the case, and that can be a distraction. It feels like a bit more of an issue with Dallas. And then I think beyond that, it feels like there's at least alignment, you know, between head coach and general manager with the 49ers, where that's doesn't feel like the case in Dallas. Mike McCarthy on the last year of his deal. I just think the pressure there. And then some of the things the guys just mentioned about improvement in the NFC East, I, I think that ends up being a factor as well. Like the Giants, uh, excuse me, the, the Cowboys, you know, certainly no lock to, to win that division, not even mm -hmm. a favorite to win that division. Um, and so I think when you look at that, I think Dallas could really be on the outside looking in. They are two teams very similar right now, right? An offensive lineman on each side that wants to get paid, wide receiver that wants to get paid, and then quarterbacks who need to get paid at, at some point. San Francisco – Meanwhile, was the NFC representative in the Super Bowl a year ago to take the wild comeback against the Lions. How confident are you that the Niners are still the top of the NFC? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I think, you know, probably most people see them as the favorite in that division. Listen, they still have Christian McCaffrey and other stable of backs. They still have George Kittle, one of the best tight ends in the game, creates so many matchup problems. You know, people are, you know, going crazy right now. Brock Purdy's throwing interceptions in practice. Well, guess what? During real games, he's been unbelievable for his entire career. The defense still has a ton of speed. Yes, there's a change at defensive coordinator, but I think there's going to be some carryover with stuff they've done in the past. I think the Niners are still a really good football team. Kyle Shanahan has proven to be a really good coach. And so I, I think ultimately they are the favorite for a reason. I think they play like it. They're on picks against that defense. There's no shame in that game. Meanwhile, ESPN projections giving San Francisco the best chance in the NFL to win the Super Bowl. Thank you, sir.